this session you're going to learn how to do work with work lists and follow up creating node collection letters to patients. This is um, done by user. It's not your normal way of creating a filter. This is, you need to go to customize desktop because usually that user wants to do this all the time. Uh, and when you turn collection list on, I'm going to hit save. So from now on, when you are working with patients, uh, you're going to see this work list at the bottom of your screen. So this is everybody that you need to follow up on. So how did this items made it to this list is by going into AR and going under the collection administration admin. So you get to create your own rules. So the configuration is this is done automatically. Uh, so by somebody meets that criteria, it just goes dump it into that list. Account that's no longer made this criteria, we can be removed. The flag will be removed. So if somebody paid their balance, that flag will be removed automatically. Uh, An account might be snooze for a maximum of six times. So you can put restriction how many times your agent, internal agent, will be able to snooze on a particular account. When a maximum snooze period have been met, send a message to who you can send a message to a supervisor or a manager. Uh, and this is the supervisor or the manager that's in charge of my of this uh, uh, operation. Qualification, who qualify for this? So anybody that owes a balance of X dollar amount, it's a patient balance. And you can have, of course, different ones. So this could be account balance or this could be a patient balance. Uh, aging, it's older than 30 days aging. Exclude flag. So let's say I want to, I have a flag for people on collection. If they, if there's a flag there, I can, I can exclude the people with the collection flag. Or maybe I have a VIP flag or family member flag. Maybe I don't want to do this to family member flag. So I can have an exclusion of a particular flag here for people that this rule doesn't apply to them. Uh, exclude statement type program with a, a statement type will be excluded from this. Minimum number of statement uh, against any qualified balance is one. Uh, you can a number of days since the last statement. So if I send a statement today, uh, if the pa balance changes tomorrow, do I want to send another statement or I want to wait at least 10 days? So this is the number of days you want to wait. Exclude accounts where the sum of patient payment past the last 30 days is greater or equal to 10% of the patient balance. So you get to control this logic here. Um, exclude time of service payment and you have other filters here. So I'm going to leave the rest for you to go through and experiment with. But now is I'm going to go the work list. So this is the different um, work list that I can do. So I can I can pick a rule here and and you can give it a name and you can just go ahead and, and execute that. Because I have this, so when I go to my desktop, all of this are selected here or, or all of this are flagged here and it shows up on my list. But let's say I want to sort by patient balance. So I want to look at the patient that has the highest dollar amount. So by clicking on this, it sorts by the highest dollar amount. Or maybe I wanted to go by the account balance. Or maybe I want to go for the, the people that were neglected for, an old, for a long time. So I want to look at the people that were neglected. So let me go back and sort by maybe patient balance. And by sorting by patient balance where it descending order. So maybe I want to work on from this patient all the way to the patients with $129. Okay, so I what I did is I, I hit my shift button and I selected all of them. And I wanted to work on all of this patient at one shot. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to do one by one. I have a pre-programmed execute action. So let's say my execute action here is, let's say I want to, to send them a letter. I want to do a final notice. And the next action, maybe I wanted to do uh, call the make a, a patient, uh, make a call. 
and the letter that I want to send I can have all my different letters here maybe delinquent so you get to to design all these letters for you so let's say I'm gonna just pick this collection letter one and over here I want to also change the statement that type that they get maybe I want to do a different statement so maybe I can have statement here or you don't have to use this okay um, if I want to exclude if I want to include the finance charge so you do that here uh, maybe I want to add a flag so this is going to add a, f a flag to the account I can change the flag if I want maybe I want to have a flag over high balance uh, flag uh, or I can say remove flags so maybe this patient had a collection one a collection two flags from before so by me adding collection three I want to remove collection one and two you get the idea okay so in the note whatever note I type here this is going to affect all of these patients here so if I continue here and keep typing so I'm going to say so I'm going to type my message here that sending letter on and I will call the patient next that message is going to show in the patient history it's going to show in my collection history uh, it works really nice now what I can do is I can create what's the next action and I can uh, choose the type of statement and that note is going to follow me in so many different places so now based on the action I picked one of the action was that I want to create a letter I picked what type of letter so this is the letter and I have 15 patients that get in the same letter those are the selection I picked so that letter is going to be printed so what I'm going to do now I can go through the different names and the name you know see how it changes here I can print it to my printer or I can export it into I'm gonna do it to PDF now so I'm going to save it to a PDF file I'm gonna put it on my desktop and I just call it collection letter and hit save and that I can deal with that in a different outside of Greenway now going back to my work list I'm going to open the Karen record I get to go to the ledger of Karen and I get to see the history what is so nice here that I'm able to filter for a note so this is by turning off charges and getting the notes on and hit search I'm able to see any notes related to this patient so this is collection notes and all the other notes that I got from everywhere inside prime suite uh, so this is the master list of all the notes which is prime suite does it very elegantly uh, the other way is I can go to collection and this is all the note regarding collection so this is all my collection note regarding Karen it's in one centralized location here for my collection effort so my manager my customer if you have uh, uh, a customer connects to you and you are the billing company get to see how hard I'm working my manager get to know uh, what I'm doing I can add additional type of note here and that will also stay in the patient record so I showed you how to to do uh, follow up on a bulk of patients now I'm going to show you how to do one by one so let's say the I'm going to follow up with Karen because she has a high balance and I click on Karen and I go to action and then because it knows that the next action was to call the patient I can now type my note here as I'm calling the patient I can uh, document what we agreed on so let's say we agreed on to set up a payment plan over $50 per month and I do that I save it um, and I, I can remove add a flag I can remove a flag so let's say I want to add a flag that there's a payment plan here so I put the payment plan and maybe I want to remove the flag that we added collection letter 3 remember doing that and uh, that's how I'm going to handle it I hit save and now this I documented that just one by one and I did an action just for this 
patient Karen and I can go back to the collection effort hit search and see all my notes here or I can go to my collection tab and I see what I what I done with Karen as far as collection so this is how the account receivable collection effort and uh, and documenting notes it works really elegant in prime suite greenway i do have a master uh, list of all the notes for the patient i have uh, a dedicated section for the work list and all my collection effort i'm able to do my effort in a batch i'm able to do my effort one by one Thank you.